Great places don't just happen, they start with a vision. In a city, county, or town, the vision lives in the comprehensive plan. This video will tell you about Albemarle County's comprehensive plan and how it guides growth and development in the county. Nestled at the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains, Albemarle County, Virginia is rich in culture and history. Albemarle surrounds the city of Charlottesville and is home to the University of Virginia, Monticello, and local business and industries. In 2013, in combination with Charlottesville, the area had approximately 150,000 residents, which includes 21,000 students at the University of Virginia. Albemarle County's quality of life attracts new residents at a rate of about 1% per year. For new and existing residents, the county sets its expectations for quality of life, growth, provisions of service, and plans for the future in its comprehensive plan. The Comprehensive Plan is the county's guide for the future. It helps protect our wonderful resources and provides excellent places for people to live and work. It helps us know when and where to provide libraries, schools, parks, and transportation improvements. Having areas designated for more dense development helps us allocate limited resources wisely and protect the area's citizens' value. Abmar County adopted its first Comprehensive Plan in 1971 designated areas for development actually originated in that particular plan. Actually, the 1977 Comprehensive Plan really shaped Albemarle's growth management policy. First, by reducing the boundaries of development due to more realistic population projections, and then bringing watershed planning into the forefront. Water supply protection was clearly essential to our growing population. Each successive update of the Comprehensive Plan has refined Albemarle's growth management strategy to bring us to where we are today. Albemarle's Comprehensive Plan has been a collaborative effort among residents, property owners, business, industry, and county leaders. The plan has been developed by planning commissioners who are appointed by the Board of Supervisors. They make recommendations on most planning and zoning decisions. Before adoption, elements of the comprehensive plan will go through many meetings in the community, the Planning Commission, and the Board of Supervisors. Although Virginia law requires only one public hearing before adoption, the Planning Commission and the Board of Supervisors provide many opportunities for public participation as the comprehensive plan is created and amended. The county's land use plan establishes where commercial, industrial, and residential development is desired. These uses are intended to be in the designated development areas. These designated development areas represent 5% of the county's land area. The other 95% of the county will remain rural. The board adopted the county's neighborhood model in 2001 to help us create high quality urban places within our development areas. The neighborhood model is about having different types of housing not just large houses on large lots. It's about having sidewalks and parks and people being able to live near their workplace. In the development areas, we expect a minimum of three to six housing units per acre. The emphasis is on excellent design. We want to have mixed-use centers that are surrounded by homes instead of having houses, shops, and offices totally separated from one another. This is especially important as we try to reduce our dependence on gasoline. Our designated development areas, our urban areas, should have the charm and character similar to downtown Charlottesville and its nearby neighborhoods while retaining its own unique identity. Using our comprehensive plan, we hope to achieve our vision of making urban Albemarle the most desirable place for residents to live, work, and play, and rural Albemarle a place for our children and grandchildren to enjoy for many years to come.